Greetings and salutations. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is my first look at Linux Mint 18 Sara Cinnamon, the beta release. This just came out today. And I saw the post and went ahead and grabbed the ISO and I installed it. So I'm actually running it and I like it. I like it a lot. This particular release of Linux Mint features the Cinnamon 3.0 desktop. It is based on Ubuntu 16.04 and it will be supported until 2021. Pretty cool. There's not a whole lot of cosmetic difference in the Cinnamon 3.0 desktop. I already looked at it in the Linux Mint Debian edition where it was sent down a while back and it seems to be a lot of bug fixes and tweaks which is just fine with me. That's awesome. One of the things they say here is that the beta release might contain critical bugs. Please only use it for testing purposes and to help the Linux Mint team fix issues prior to the stable release. But they say that you will be able to upgrade from the beta release to the official release with no issue. They also say here, and I hope I'm reading this right, they say it will be possible to upgrade from Linux Mint 17.3 upgrade instructions will be published next month after the stable release of Linux Mint 18. That's a big deal, gang, because Linux Mint 17.3 is based on Ubuntu 14.04. The 18 series will be based on 16.04. It used to be years ago with Linux Mint that you would upgrade by reinstalling. Every time they came out with a new version, that's how you did it. Starting with the 17 series, they said, okay, we're going to have dot releases. So we had, we went from 17.1 to 2 to 3, and those were all in-place upgrades and very easy to do. Now they're going to do a total upgrade from the Ubuntu 14.04 based release to the 16.04 based release, and that will be in place as well. And if they pull that off, that's major. It's almost like Linux Mint becomes a semi-rolling release at that point. You can certainly stick with 17.3 if it works for you. That's going to be supported until 2019. But if you want to move to 18, you can do it in place. So that's pretty cool. And there's a few other things here. And then they have all the mirrors where you can download it. So what is different? Well, this is what the desktop looks like out of the box. The only thing I did was remove the computer icon from the desktop because I don't use it. Of course, I made the launcher down here the panel a lot bigger and it now auto hides and when I installed this in the installation the, the installer the program that actually installs the system they've added an extra page now and you click on it to install things like drivers and codecs and stuff like that a la Ubuntu the way they've been doing it since like Ubuntu 10.10. It used to be that Linux Mint, you installed it, all the codecs were totally there if you downloaded that ISO image. They have now made it so that you just have to click that box and it installs all the codecs. And they're doing that just so they don't have so many ISO images to keep up with. Like I said, not a huge change here with the Cinnamon desktop. It looks pretty much like it always has. did have some changes here with the update manager first of all when I first opened up the update manager it prompted me to select be from three different levels of upgrade security which is a new thing you know one of the things about Linux Mint that people have criticized them for in the past is holding back packages to make sure that the thing is stable well they give you three choices now you can uh, like level one is just it will not update anything that could possibly break the system or cause a problem level two it'll warn you if there's an update for something that might break the system and level three is I don't care don't warn me I'll just install it and deal with it later so I can't reproduce that for the video because I'd have to kind of reinstall the whole system to do that but when you see it installed for the first time it's it's no big deal it just pops right up They have also changed uh, the Linux kernel manager here that they have included in the updates. There are only two available for this release. Uh, it's 4.4.0-21 uh, and dash 22. I have already upgraded from that because I selected to have the intermediate level of update security where it would warn me when something new came along. So I just went ahead and highlighted those 
put my password in and it upgraded the kernel for me and I didn't have to do that. Then I came back to this tool and I removed the old kernel because it's, it's not loaded right now. This is the recommended kernel and this is the latest kernel. I didn't see any difference between what happened when I loaded the thing up. So we'll see how that works out. And I guess when we get more kernels down the road in a different series, we're going to see this over here populate. So that's pretty cool. Big deal that's been made uh, about the X apps, which is about six apps at this point that Linux Mint has forked. Basically, they're like GNOME utilities that they don't want to use for whatever reason. edX. I want XED. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. And here's an X app right here, which is the uh, text editor. And this is 1.0.5 XED. Just a real simple little text editor. Looks like gedit used to look. They're trying to get away from the client side decorations that are coming to Ubuntu, or, or, or rather for GNOME, not Ubuntu. Of course, you can run GNOME applications with client side decorations in Ubuntu. You can do it here in Mint as well. It's just that they have decided that they're going to do the apps a little bit different. Another thing that they've changed is they've dropped GThumb, and they have a new thing in here called Pix, which if you look at the about has been around for quite some time version 1.0.1 copyright 2001 2010 free software foundation incorporated this might take us to the free software foundation site is that what we're gonna do huh that's interesting Okay, well, anyway, they have added this to the system and removed GThumb. I have to play around with that and see what it can do. I don't have any pictures on here at this point to, to even look at, so there you go. What else can we look at? Let's look at the backgrounds for the desktop and see what that looks like. Looks like we don't have the lists for the, the older versions in here. They've, they've pretty much uh, dumped all of those. They've also removed retro. It's not here anymore. I always liked that category because it had like Linux Mint backgrounds from 10 years ago in here when I first started using it. Of course, I'm an old guy. And then, of course, you can choose from your own pictures as well. But the app works pretty much the same as it always did. And then here are the settings. Looks like we've got pretty much all the same stuff. Maybe there's a few changes in here, but not major. So if you're already using Linux Mint 17.3 and you should choose to do an in-place upgrade to this, then you're not going to be freaked out, man. It's, it's pretty much the same. And we'll see how this shakes out over time stability-wise. Also, we know that Ubuntu is having some problems with um, some issues with like network manager and display drivers and things like that. How that will affect Linux Mint, I'm not really sure. That it all remains to be seen. We're in beta right now. And it's going to be really... I know they said that you're not supposed to do this, but it's really, really tempting for me to go around. I have two machines now that are running Linux Mint 17.3, and boy, I'm tempted to go ahead and load them up. <laughs> I'll probably get really badly burnt by that, you know. It's like, oh, it crashed. It doesn't work. Oh, it's a beta, dummy. You're not supposed to do that kind of stuff. Don't hit me. It won't help. I'm stupid. So this is the software manager. It looks and acts just exactly the same. I couldn't find any major differences when I was looking at it a little bit earlier. So it's just Linux Mint. And if you love Linux Mint, then you're in luck because this is a really, really nice looking and very stable for a beta release very stable for a first load of a beta release too it runs really well in this virtual machine I did have one issue and the one issue was that when I first loaded it up the virtual box video drivers weren't working and I the desktop was rendering in software mode it gave me a warning so to fix that I just installed the 
guest editions from the guest editions disc here that you can hook up. And that took care of the problem. It changed out the drivers and now they work just fine. So that's something you, if anybody from the Mint team happens to be watching here, that's something you might want to address because if you're using the latest version of VirtualBox, the guest edition drivers don't work properly and you have to manually install them, which is a problem that I have never seen happen before with Linux Mint ever since they started including the guest edition drivers in there by default. So yeah, gang, I'm I'm stoked. I'm impressed. This is a nice, nice looking, so far, no major issues that I found release of Linux Mint. So we'll have to see what happens, you know, after the official release comes out. So we go ahead and shut it down and get back to my Linux Mint 17 desktop. That would be kind of nice. See, not a whole lot of difference. This is my desktop themed up with the Numix theme. Not a huge big deal. Thanks for watching, gang. I hope you got something out of this video. Be sure and check out Easy Linux on the web. That is where you can find out how I can help you get started with Linux Mint or Ubuntu or maybe Linux Lite or whatever distro you might happen to be interested in and I'll walk you through an installation. Also check out Easy Linux on Facebook. Lots of groovy things happening there. This video will post there. The announcement for Linux Mint's uh, new release. I put it up there as well and you want to be a part of that community for sure. So check that out. Also check out freedompenguin.com for lots of great articles about Linux from contributors like myself. And we will do this again very soon.